I wanted something really hard as the base that would be sturdy so I decided to just go with wood and this is perfect so I'm going to be using this wire cutter to take off the wire brushes from the wood when you're doing this please be careful because the brushes have very hard and sharp bristles so you have to do it in a place where you can discard the bristles properly so it doesn't hurt you And I have to say that when I was getting this, I was worried that it was going to be a lot of work to take off the wire brushes. But then, yay, this works perfectly because it was so easy to come off using a wire cutter. Now, this is what we have. And I got four. And I did the same thing for all four. Now, I'm going to be sanding them down because some of them have rough edges. So, I just want to make sure that all the edges for the four pieces of wood that I'm going to be using are smooth. I really love the shape of this wood that I'm going to be using. So this side here is where I'm going to be gluing together. So two of it will be glued like this together using wood glue. I used wood glue and a hot glue gun just to keep it in place as I go on with the project. next thing that I did was to take the other two and glue them by the sides like this. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. There are lots of ways that you can use these wire brushes as a base for a side table. But this is just the design that I chose to make. So this is how I'm going to be putting it together. This is what it looks like and then I went ahead and I added more wood glue to all the pieces of wood that I joined together just to make sure that it comes out strong and at this point you have to make sure that the top and the bottom of all the wood are flushed together to make sure that your wood comes out balanced. So that we can have a properly balanced side table. I spray painted it silver and then I'm going to be using these 2 inch round mirrors to cover up the wood. You can leave yours open if you like the view of the wood but I just love everything to look all glam and shiny so I covered it up with mirrors. And I did that all round. And then I'm going to be using these smaller mirrors to just add to the design. Now for the inner spaces, I will be covering them up with these gems that I got from Walmart. I left the wood part that was showing inside, but then the sides that have holes because of the brushes that we used, I will be covering them up with larger gems. After that, I then covered up the part that was open. And as you can see here, what we're making is well balanced. But to give it a wider base, I'm going to be using this mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree. And it is advisable to use a strong adhesive. And I used an E6000 glue. I 
I'm gonna be using this pizza pan that I got from the Dollar Tree for the top. And then I'm gonna be using the tray from the Dollar Tree also to serve as a mirror. So I cut off the edges just to give me a round shape and then I glue the top to the pan using any 6000 glue. Now to cover up the edges and the hole that you can see here, I used acrylic gems that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And I glued the gems all around the tray. This is what it looks like. And now we're going to be turning it to the other side and then taking the base of our protesto side table and we're going to be gluing it to the middle of our tray. You have to take your time and locate the middle so you can have a properly balanced side table. I use an E6000 glue on top of each of the four wood before placing it down to the tray and then this is just a reinforcement because the more glue you use the better and then because of the surface of the tray I wasn't sure if the E6000 glue would do the job just fine I had to use Mod Podge because it's a water-based sealant so I just used it just to make sure that I know that I'm gonna have a sturdy side table When I was done, I flipped it over and then I turned it all around to make sure that it's well balanced. And yes, it's well balanced. These are lights that I got from the Dollar Tree and I divided them into four parts. And I glued them onto the four pieces of wood that we have and I spread them out and glued them just using a hot glue gun. And then I'm gonna be gluing the battery pack to the middle in the inside. So it'll be easy to turn it on and off. This is what it looks like. And this is where you have the easy access to the battery pack to turn it on and off. This turned out so beautiful and I love the way the lights give off its effect at night. This is a great way to show off your glamorous side in still saving space. And who knew that wire brushes could be used as the perfect base for a side table. It is an eye-catching piece that adds style and function at the same time. Now because I am so curious to know what it was going to look like if the base becomes the top, so I did that and I turned the base at the top and put a board on top of it and this is what it looks like. I really love the way this looks though, but then if you're going to go with this look, the base has to be a little bit smaller, so you won't use a really large pan for this. That's if you want to turn it over. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.